Oh, isn't that, isn't that just fantastic? <laughs> oh my gosh. Technical difficulties already. No, that's okay. We're on. Um, so anyway, today is an amazing uh, sunny day. And so I think it's, it's a great day for um, some cool, yummy drinks. And so what we're going to do is we are going to, first off, I'm going to start with something super easy. Um, yeah, I think I might do that twice, actually, I'm thinking, because I'm going to love it so much. <laughs> okay, so it's really easy. This is like the easiest healthy dessert in the whole wide world. All it is is bananas and, um, and uh, cocoa. And uh, so you just get some pure cocoa and some bananas. And I've got um, both my ancient Vitamix and the um, little magic bullet. I'm going to put these in here. And I'm pretty sure, like I, I never know how strong the magic bullet's going to be. So, um, so I'm all, always uh, conscious of how small I have to cut things because I'm so used to the Vitamix and, you know, that it can do anything. So we're going to just take two bananas, put them in here. And I don't know if I'm going to need to cut them up small, so we'll see. Then you'll know and I'll know too. So this just right here, just simply bananas, nothing else, and pure cocoa. I can get a spoon. I've got so many things here to add today. Um, you know, if you like a lot, use a lot. And um, heaping tablespoon and another tablespoon. So how's that? So we're going to do that. Super easy, super simple. Put the lid on. And um, I'm going to see how this goes because I, I'll probably need to add a little bit of water, but I don't want to add too much because I want to make it like a pudding. So we'll see. Okay, we need to add some water. And we probably need to chop up the bananas. Now we know. These little guys, oh, look, it's starting to look like pudding already, though. Isn't that awesome? Um, yeah, these little guys... Um, a little magic bullets. I'm going to just try and chop up my bananas more. <laughs> now I know. Chop up the bananas small because this little guy really doesn't like big hunks of bananas. Gotta love the Vitamix, you know, or any big blender, but um, my Vitamix is so old, it's just ancient. You can add a little bit of water, just a tiny bit to help those blades. I don't want it to that's about a tablespoon. I don't want it too um, watery. And um, but like I was saying, my Vitamix is so old, and uh, you can't. I mean, I I bleach it all the time, and it, it's one of those really ancient ones that came with the whatever plastic um, type thing <laughs> container. I don't know canister, whatever you want to call it, and. Um, doesn't matter how many times you bleach it. I mean, when it's 10 years old, it's just not ever going to be sparkling clean again. Okay, I'm going to set this on this glass here. So that stays like that. And we're going to give it another try. I'll give it a shake. Okay. That sounds much better. Give it a little shake. And so you can see it's like the most amazing chocolate pudding. And so I'm just looking at who's here. Um, and so that's like super awesome, super easy, you know, just a little, little tad of water. Can you guys see this okay? I want to make sure you can see it okay. I can put it up. Can I put it up? Oh yeah. Okay, just don't fall. Okay, so so you this is seriously see it pouring like pudding. See? 
This is simply bananas and cocoa. And, and it tastes as good as it looks. No sugar, no, there's one tablespoon of water and it's, um, if I can make it, uh, maybe one tablespoon of water. I maybe added a tiny bit too much water, but, um, but also I didn't scrape the sides, which looks thicker. But see this, doesn't that look amazing? So that's just bananas and, and cocoa, that's it. Bananas and cocoa, one tablespoon of water. Uh, and, and if you, um, you know, my, my thought is if you chop the bananas up smaller instead of trying to stick two big bananas in there, um, you probably don't need the water. So that is going to be the dessert for lunch. The dessert for lunch. And I think I'm going to make it, like I said earlier when we first started, I think I'm going to do that twice because it's just way too... Uh, it's going to be way too yummy and it probably won't even last till dinner. So that's that super easy, super awesome. And, um, so what we're going to do today is, um, also make a couple of, um, smoothies and, um, maybe we'll make another one of those in the big Vitamix, but we're going to do a smoothie first. So just wanted to explain a couple things about smoothies and, um, you you really want you can see my hairs there. Um, you really want for your smoothie to uh, be really healthy. Like you can have a fruit smoothie and that's all awesome and and um, and of course there's like tons of uh, nutrition in fruit. But what I find is that people put so much fruit in and then they add milk, which in my mind defeats the purpose. Um, and then, uh, or yogurt, which is a slight better, but you don't need any of that. You don't need all that stuff. You need things like celery. Celery, any of your green leafy vegetables, I was actually going to go out and grab some kale and I totally forgot, but I normally would put a handful of kale in. Celery is so, so good for you. It has all of the, um, it's got the potassium, but it's got the natural sodium that is so good for arthritis. So we're just going to take the celery. It's already been washed and i um, just going to cut off, um, I don't know, like this much. So um, that much celery and in that smoothie. And or usually what I do, if this is a full stock, I would add two. And so that's um, that's the basics of the celery because it's so anti-inflammatory. And really helpful for arthritis and carrot and just you know I mean it's a Vitamix so I could probably throw the whole carrot in itself and these are organic and just washed so you can um, throw the carrot right into the Vitamix I, I do oh another thing to note when you're using um, uh, any kind of blender Vitamix or a juicer if you put the celery in first, it almost like um, protects the blades so that it's way easier to clean. Like if you start off with, um, oh gosh, I don't know what, um, other kinds of fruits and things that are that are like uh, more fibrous, then sometimes it's it's it uh, gets stuck in the uh, in the blades when you're cleaning it. And if you add celery first, it's almost like it lubricates the blades. And so I always put celery in first because it makes the machine easier to clean, which is an awesome thing to, uh, to do. So um, I have here some sweet potatoes. And the sweet potatoes, um, they actually are um, anti-inflammatory. And um, it's interesting. They're one of, the, one of the vegetables that has copper in them. Hi. Yeah, good. Hi, Darlene. That's awesome. So these have, um, whoops, they have copper in them. There's a cutting board here. Uh, and antioxidant, and they detoxify metals. Okay, so that's super uh, awesome thing to do. And I will often cut the sweet potatoes up and just have them as a snack. Like, I won't do that now because I'm, I'm starting to learn that I can't talk and eat and drink and be on live because it doesn't work very well. 
I can't. I start to, uh, yeah, it makes me cough, so I won't taste it. I wanted to. I'll taste it after. So anyway, back to sweet potatoes. They're so good for you. Antioxidant. And uh, I'm going to set that aside since I kind of touched it to my lip. And um, so antioxidant, uh, detoxes metals. The thing that you really don't want to do, like a lot of people will add a lot of fruit. And then if it has a lot of fruit, then it can spike your blood sugar. And um, oh, I'm just reading the, oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's a long, that's a long sentence. I'll look at that after and reply. That's awesome. Anyway, so back to the smoothie, you do not want it to spike your blood sugar. So the whole idea of a smoothie is for it to be healthy. Well, it's just my glasses because they keep they keep shining. Um, and no, it's on my nose. <laughs> so anyway, the uh, you don't want to spike your blood sugar and you want it to be healthy. So if you're adding a whole bunch of fruit, especially bananas, they're super, super sweet. Um, and um, all the different things that, that people might add along with yogurt and that kind of thing, it kind of defeats the purpose. So if you want it super healthy, you want it as green as possible. So we have celery here. Um, normally, I totally forgot this morning, but uh, normally I would add kale and um, carrots and sweet potatoes. So, so far we have only vegetables in here. And since I forgot the kale, what you can do and what I often do anyways, is I add a greens powder. So you can get these greens powders at the health food store um, and they're dehydrated greens. So they, you want to get one that's super high quality, one that hopefully starts with spirulina because spirulina is, it's very expensive, but that means it's a super high quality greens if it has spirulina or chlorella or even wheat grass in the beginning, because some of them have like um, a sort of a fiber you know, like barley uh, fiber, I can't think of the different things, but but it's like a cheaper, not as nutrition pack, you know, high, high, high nutrition. So spirulina is super good to have in there. And uh, I take spirulina separately every morning with my greens. So, but what I'm saying is you can add the spirulina to your smoothie, but I find um, spirulina is such a, a super food and so... Uh, dense in nutrients it's like a it's like a blood transfusion so I don't want to waste my pure spirulina in my smoothie because it's going to go in there with the carrots and the yams and the or sweet potatoes and celery and stuff like that like I want this to go in pure with water because um, I think you get more out of it it just goes right into the stomach feeds the blood does its thing so I'm not going to put spirulina in there but I'm just saying when you pick out a greens, uh, powdered greens product, um, make sure that it has spirulina as the first ingredient because then you'll know it's super high quality. One of the ones, like I, I like many of them, but one of the easiest ones that I find, um, like the other thing is they'll fill them up with um, sweet things like, uh, you know, apple pectin and things like that, which makes it taste better. But you, <laughs> you don't want it to taste better. You want it to be healthy. And so um, so the one that I like the best that seems to be palatable for most people is called Enerex, E-N-E-R-E-X. It's a really good product. It, it's super, um, a great greens product, and it doesn't taste as terrible as the better ones do. I mean, there's Greens Plus, there's all the different ones. But anyway, okay, so back to the reason I'm adding greens, because I often don't. If I had brought the kale in, like I'll often put kale or spinach and um, other leafy greens. You could put chard, uh, collards, you could put anything in. But since I didn't today go out and get the kale, which I should have, but there must be a reason for everything, and now I'm showing you this. So we're adding our greens, which is the greens powder to it. So that little, um, that's like two tablespoons. That'll be packed with spirulina, um, wheatgrass, all kinds of different greens, fruits and vegetables packed into the, this powerhouse of greens juice and, and not sweet. 
So, so far we have all vegetables in here with a little bit of um, uh, spirulina. And you don't want, I was saying again, you don't want it to be sweet if you're trying to build your immune system and, um, and create a lot of antioxidant activity, even as important as fruits are, you, you in my mind, I, a fruit smoothie is like a treat and it's awesome. And it has lots of nutrition and lots of nutrients, but I like a really, I like a veggie smoothie. Basically, I think it works better for me. So we do want it to be palatable though. We do want it to taste good. So we are gonna add something sweet. We have here my beautiful, it says right on it, Avalon. We have my beautiful frozen blueberries from Avalon Farm from Kathy Burkowski. Hi, Judy. Hi, Lori. And um, so I am going to add a few of these because the, the uh, glycemic index is lower and your berries have so many uh, qualities and properties um, antioxidants, any, anything with the purple skin, right, has your, your um, a resorbitol and it has the uh, um, uh, proanthocyanidins, antioxidants, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to add not very many, just enough, um, like a quarter of a cup. Okay, so that will add that. Really good for the eyes. Anything blue purple is excellent for the eyes. Um, and I have some from last summer. I have frozen grapes. And you know what would be really awesome? Like, you know, when we did the we did the bananas and the chocolate at the beginning, you can do the frozen grapes and the chocolate for like a for like, well, not really cherry, but like a grape chocolate dessert too. And it's super awesome also. So we're gonna add a few grapes, and it's really, really important. To have um, to have organic grapes because if you just going to scoop some of these out here, and I haven't even um, taken the stems off. Like as you can see, I just throw the whole thing, stems and all, in the freezer, and then they you know they come apart and they separate themselves pretty easily like this. And you just add. Them. So back to the important thing about grapes. Super important about grapes is that they're organic because grapes are one of the things that concentrates uh, any kind of chemical uh, and or pesticide that's sprayed on them. For whatever reason, if you look at, um, I'm going to try and remember the name of the book, A Diet for a Poison Planet, it tells you the amounts of pesticides and chemicals in all foods. All foods right down to brands like it'll say what brands of ketchup have the most pesticides it goes into even alcohols um, which ones um, have the most pesticides so two things attract draw and hold the most pesticides of any other food and grapes is one of them so if they are sprayed they concentrate it and that's why I'm not a fan of raisins either because the raisins um, are even more concentrated, right? If they're not organic, they're just like holding on to anything that may have been sprayed on them. So they, they really just hold on and concentrate all those pesticides and chemicals. The other thing that does that is peanuts. Peanuts, again, is, is uh, you know, um, something that, that has the most, the highest amount of pesticides and chemicals. So um, if they're treated, and so if you are going to eat peanuts and grapes or raisins, make sure that they're organic. Super, super important. Um, and the, it's a really handy book because it goes down to foods that you don't have to buy that are organic because some foods repel the pesticides and the chemicals. Like um, I think one of them is onions, you know, so, that, so they automatically have this thing where they, you know, they don't gather those pesticides and chemicals. So. It's a really good book. Um, uh, gosh, I got it like 20 years ago. So I'm sure you can find it online or reference to it. Or, you know, I mean, pro probably most likely somebody else has written another one that's more up to date. But it, it's a pretty good book. Okay, so we have mostly vegetables. We have two fruits. We have a little handful of organic Kathy from Avalon Farm, her organic blueberries. And we have grapes from my grapevine. And I have, 
I have a couple old wrinkly apples from my tree last summer still hanging in there. So they are a little wrinkly, but they're organic. And, um, and again, apples are one of the sweeter fruits, or at least this brand is, or this species. I don't, I'm not sure what it is. Um, so I don't want to add a lot because I don't want this to be oversweet and like spike blood sugar. So I'm just, and um, I got to cut it again just so I don't have to, <laughs> better make a little smaller so I don't have to shuffle around my Vitamix. Um, so we're just going to add two quarters. Okay, four little pieces of apple because I don't want it too sweet. The other thing you could add, and um, we're not going to do this for this, but you could later, and I know this looks a little funny. This is frozen bananas. I highly encourage you to, um, whenever your bananas are starting to turn brown, I mean, you can either make banana bread or chop them up and put them in the freezer. And they're so handy because uh, I'm going to show you what else we're going to do with them. The other thing you may want to do, um, you can add beets, which I often add beets to my smoothie, or you can buy a beetroot powder and add that for extra, um, oh my gosh, extra iron, extra everything that beets do. And uh, if, you, if you wanted to, some people are really worried about protein, which is like not, you know, not anything we have to worry about, but um, you can use something like this, which I have used. It's a, um, a fermented vegan protein, and there's all different kinds of brands of this. You can go to the health food store and um, find something that resonates with you. The other thing you can do if you're really uh, worried about protein is you can add hemp hearts. And uh, hemp hearts full of protein and omegas and awesome, awesome stuff. Gives it a nice nutty flavor. Maybe I'll do that. So, so if you were, here's another thing. <clears throat> okay, this is important too. If you were worried about um, spiking blood sugar, <clears throat> and you, um, or you wanted to add more fruit, and you want to balance that, you can add protein. So protein slows the spiking of the blood sugar down. And I'm not going to go into that whole story, um, but I but I have I have a lecture on that, and um, and so the, it's like the protein burns like a log, so it burns slowly as you're digesting and the food's going in, and your pancreas deals with the the um, sugar going into the the blood and the body. It deals with it slowly like a log burning, and it lasts over a long time. Sh long story short, um, <clears throat> so that's your protein, but the the fruit it um, burns like paper. So it goes in and it, um, depending on the kind of fruit, of course, uh, but uh, you know, your glycemic index, depending on how, how much sugar is in it, basically. Um, so when you're doing just the fruit, um, it burns like paper. So it will put the, the sugar into the blood faster, which can spike your pancreas uh, if you're susceptible to that, like hypoglycemic or, um, di oh, sorry, or diabetic or whatever. Anyway, that's a whole nother thing. Uh, let's just go back to adding protein slows down the sugar spiking your blood sugar. Okay. That's all. That's all I should have said. Anyway, that's a whole nother, um, that's a whole nother thing that we'll talk about one day. Okay. So you can add some supplements to your smoothie. This is maca. I love maca. It's really good for energy. It helps with your um, mental abilities. Uh, helps sharpen your brain. It's just really good stuff. And I actually do have already a little thing in here. So I'll add like a teaspoon of maca. Find the lid. Put that away. And of course, my favorites, astragalus and ashwagandha. I do, um, you know, I take them daily. I find it's just the most amazing for, um, it's like a teaspoon. I just, you know, I really think it, it's important to make sure that you find whatever herbal supplements or whatever kind of supplements work for you, whatever keeps you going, whatever gives you energy, whatever makes you happy. 
Um, and if you've been to a, um, a natural health uh, consultant or naturopath or herbalist or whatever uh, to find out what works for you if you don't know what works for you. Um, but after you have your recommendations, what's important is how you feel. And so anybody can put you on a health program. You know, I do those kinds of things all the time. But if you don't resonate uh, with that program, then um, you need to change it up. If you're not feeling better, if you go to a health consultant and you can have like 10 acupuncturists, but there will be one out of that 10 that really works for you. So it's, it's all um, what you do with what you have and how you feel. And if you don't feel better, you need to change your program. I, I don't mean overnight, depending on the herb or the program. I mean, yeah, a lot of things work in 20 minutes. But for, um, for a long-term program, if you don't feel better in three months, you need to change things, like drastically feel better. So anyway, that's a whole nother one too. Um, Okay, so we've added our supplements and use the supplements that work for you. Uh, okay, we're ready. Um, and you can notice I'm not adding any, um, no dairy, no yogurt, no anything, water. Good for you, water. Okay, so my Vitamix here, um, and it is so old, the top totally doesn't work. So if it splashes all over you guys and the ceiling you'll know why okay here we go it works really good though okay so i'm gonna pour this so you can see because my vitamix is so old you can barely see through the thing anymore and you can make this um smoothie Okay, it doesn't have a really pretty color. I could have added more. Um, if I added the beetroot powder, it would look way better. <laughs> but it's going to taste really good because it's got the berries. So it's got the purple and um, the grapes and a little tiny bit of apple. Okay, so it's not too sweet. So that's uh, my explanation on how I make a smoothie. And the green and the purple <laughs> makes it turn gray. You might want to add beetroot powder so it's a little more um, appetizing looking, but we're used to that. We're used to um, not worrying about what things look like. Okay, I'm, I can see I'm running out of time here. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do, okay, what we're going to do is I want to use the Vitamix, so I am going to um, put the rest of that smoothie in something so I can show you something super, super quick. Okay, I'll go fast. What we're going to do now, real fast, and this is going to be really great for you to um, do today because it's going to be hot and it's going to be lovely. So remember the frozen bananas. Mmm. <laughs> this is going to be so good. Frozen bananas, nothing else. They've been frozen since, I don't know, spring, early. I'm just going to throw these in here like that. And they've been out, like this Vitamix is a really strong machine, so I could have gone right straight from the freezer into it. But they've been out uh, for a couple hours, so they're a little soft, but they're still pretty frozen. And then we're going to go with just the yummiest cocoa. That's it. Bananas and cocoa once again. I'm going to put two heaping teaspoons in, I mean tablespoons. Okay, we're going to do this, and it's just going to be so totally amazing tasting. I might have to squish it down a bit. I think when I do it and they're frozen, which is how I usually do it, the um, ice hits the blades and it makes it go easier because I don't usually have to pound it down. Okay. What's going on in here? Let's see. Usually this works. I did such a, when we did it earlier with the magic bullet, that was awesome. Okay, I am going to add some water to it. 
Oh, God. Well, you never know how these things are going to go. And you just have to play with it. Because every machine is going to be different. It has a high and low speed. Oh, there we go. We're coming along. There. That's what we needed to do. Well, I guess it wants more water. Needs more water. All right, you. Come back to life. Or it's going to be a chocolate smoothie, which is okay, too. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Make it a chocolate smoothie. And, and the nice thing is that um, chocolate smoothie that's so good for you. You know what else you could do? And I'll tell you that in a minute after I make more noise here. Okay, you know what? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so that, that was the trick. And it's still pretty thick, so um, I'll show you. Can you see that? Mmm. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put it in something that you can see better. So anyway, if you do this, this is, um, and if you have to add more water, it's okay. This is just um, bananas and cocoa, and that's it. And that's all that's in here is bananas and cocoa. Oops, I'm looking in the thing. I'm going to go overfill my stuff. <laughs> okay, comedy show today. Look at pretty, pretty, healthy, simply frozen bananas and cocoa, pure powdered cocoa. That's it. Nothing else. And it tastes awesome. So I encourage you to try it. So you have two versions here. You have the first version that we did with fresh banana and cocoa and the little tiny, um, Magic bullet. Hi. And uh, hi, Manu. And uh, so we have just bananas and co in the magic bullet. And it worked really good. Awesome. You just have to chop them up small. And then we have finished with frozen bananas and cocoa. And that's all. A little bit of water. Well, in this case, a little more water. And so, yeah, I encourage you. Go and start playing around, especially with this Beautiful weather. I'm so excited to go out in the garden. So make these kinds of things for your desserts and your fun food. And then you can make a really healthy smoothie too. So anyways, yeah, cheers, you guys. We, uh, our lunch and dessert is all done. Thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> okay. Have a really great weekend. And let me know on Facebook what you want to see on Monday. Hi, Manik. Hi, Judy. Hi, Karen. So um, really excited to be hanging with you guys at 11 o'clock, um, Monday to Friday, 11 o'clock. We come up with something that people want me to share and show them. And, and just because I have strange and different ways of doing things. <laughs> and uh, yeah, people seem to like it. So um, you can also go to my YouTube and there's like, I don't know, 150 videos on there. Um, and it, they've, it's healthy, fast, healthy um, food, mostly, and kind of funny as well. <laughs> it's a little entertaining. Okay, thanks, you guys. Thanks for your patience with my Vitamix blending. <laughs> okay, figure out how to turn this off. See ya.